Might well my name Lorraine Pickering, 178 Littleton Road, Salford. Um, I basically um, heard from about the flood, the flooding um, due to Jill and other members of what's the trust called? The New Deal community. New, New Deal community come, obviously coming around to discuss it, which I felt was good at the time. Obviously, and if it helps my property and other people's property, then I think it's worth it. So what did you like about it? What was you offered? Well, um, floodgates for the property, even for the outside shed, and the air bricks, um, air bricks, and, you know, it's just, obviously, any help, really, that will benefit, you know, property and the area really, just just as a measure. And do you think this is something that will catch on in this area because it's a... Yeah, I do. Yeah, so more people will get this sort of thing fitted. Yeah, definitely. Because a number of people that I've spoken to in relation to it, which, because people walking past have asked me what the air, why I've got different air bricks obviously to other people and I've explained it and obviously they said they'll wait and see what comes along with it basically. Do you think that people, as a result, people are in this area becoming more aware that they didn't really know in, about it before? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. And there's a, if you think about it really, obviously, because Littleton Road is the main bus route as well, people are constantly walking up and down Littleton Road and obviously myself, the side street. Yeah. Is it something that you worry about, the environment and the future, climate change? Not just about flooding, but generally? No, but no, no, I don't, I, no. You know, obviously, same as everything, isn't it? You've just got to basically take it as it comes, but obviously if you're prepared for it, then it's got to be better. Is there any other things that you're doing um, towards the environment, like using energy-saving bulbs? and? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I use energy, well, some of my lights don't have them, but um, energy saving lights and different things, really. I have one of them, Eon, it is Eon Energy, it's a box and that tells you, obviously the saving, it's connected to your electric. Have you actually found that it's reduced your bill by at all? Well, yeah, because obviously it makes you alert, mm. makes you more alert. Because obviously there's there's day, evening, and night on it, and it depends on how far up and how low down it is. And then you, you I th think you do because obviously where you're constantly leaving a light on, or even hot what your hot water switch, anything. You get into the habit then of thinking, oh, no, what if I turn it off? Maybe I'll save. Yeah. Even unplugging the washer when, when you know you're not going to use the washer and the dryer, just completely switching it off. Yeah, because you become complacent, don't you? You, you do. just kind of don't think. So going back to the flooding, um, do you think more people, uh, there'll be more things implemented in this area? Yeah. Yeah, because there's been a drastic improvement in the area. I've lived in the area six years and there's been a drastic improvement in the area with obviously different things uh, such as the flooding, the drives, you know, there has been, which obviously doesn't only better the area, it betters the property which people are living in. Did you say when we came in uh, something about a grid that's outside, is there going to be some work done to that? Well I'm not 100% sure about that yet, obviously I've got to wait for confirmation of, of, of that because it's not up to that stage at the moment. So just have to wait and see because that's just a manual. Yeah. Can so. I just, just ask you as well, when, when we started doing this we were hoping that people would come together, not just as individual properties, but they would sort of liaise better with the neighbours if you like. So mm -hmm. if you're on holiday for instance, who's going to put the door guards up and things like that. Do you think that that will get better? Do you think people are, are chatting more as, as neighbours? due to things like that? Or yeah, because obviously myself and a couple of the neighbours um, at the end there, yeah. um, they have my contact phone number. Right. Um, if I, obviously if, I don't, yeah. if I'm not here, 
But my parents only live five doors yeah. up and they have a key constantly mm. to my house. Yeah. Um, and obviously my son mm. doesn't always go away with me and what have you. Yeah. And my son is um, a water and gas fitter for outside. Yeah. That is his, his job. Um, so if I'm not here, you know, obviously there's always somebody. Yeah. And the neighbour across the road, she goes to her caravan. And I have look after mm -hmm. us and so. Well, you think that because that was a concern of you know people where um, they've had them and they said well you know who's who's going to put it up if you mm -hmm. if you're not here sort of thing so you think that can work quite yeah quite well. yeah. yeah and obviously I have their numbers and their yeah. da daughter's n right. number and that obviously yeah. In, yeah. any problems that I phone yeah. them because somebody mm -hmm. comes and sorts it out yeah. then. When you say put things up, you mean the flood things that are okay. implemented. Can you explain what what would happen? Um, so, so is there like a, a guard that you put up or people that you contact? Yeah, so if... Well, I can show, do, show, do you want to see one? Yeah, but... So in order for the door guards that um, I just got here, um, the rain would have to receive a flood warning from the Environment Agency and the rain signed up to that service which we offer for free. Uh, we hope to give about two hours warning. In this area it might be a lot more. So the rain would receive that that morning through either a mobile or a house phone etc and then she could put the door guard in place and think about you know whether she's going to have to get things together if you might need to leave the property or decamp upstairs if the levels get any higher so this is the door guard that we've we've got here if you just hold it up a little bit yeah i'll just move that And it's, it's quite good as well because it doesn't have any fittings. No, it which, expands, doesn't it? Yeah, um, you want to turn it around. It fits in between the door jams and you've got a ratchet system which pushes it out. And it's quite good because then, you know, you're not looking at unsightly things on your wall. No, you also get a ceiling yeah. to seal it in. So it's fairly simple to use. You don't have to really lift it high to slot it in anything. And... Um, the really tough things as well to store. You put it here and then you take that on the back, you'd ratchet it out, and it would just sit in your doorway in between the two posts. And you'd have one of those on the front and the back. Um, yeah, the air bricks that we've replaced here, we've replaced them with a uh, fit and forget system and it's a plastic air brick and as the river, river levels, not the river levels, but the water levels start to rise, we would expect that that would just shut off. It's got a float in there that just shuts the uh, front of it off and it just seals the whole unit and as the levels drop, um, they'll open up again and work as they would do in normal conditions. So where you, if you look at the bank coming along then it dips down and goes up again. Yeah. Well, you can see the cemetery through that. That is the low spot. So it's just a weir that's been put in. And as the levels come up, it'll start to come over that weir. And then that um, the silver thing that you can see over there, that's where it would... Uh, I think that's the, maybe in the outlet station there. Basically, the rocks are just there to stop people driving onto it.